A Pearson family is devastated by a loss no parent should have to suffer. 11-month-old Emma Grace Lehman was involved in an accident that led to a brain injury and eventually brain death. New Center 16's Travis Robinson spoke with the family who says Emma is living on through others. Say hi. We've never seen a happier kid in our entire life. That baby smiled. I always told her, you're going to break your face. You're smiling so hard. Give me a kiss. Uh, ah, give me a kiss. We weren't there when her, um, when her brain bleed occurred. From the moment we arrived in Fort Wayne, they determined that there was no brain activity. Uh -oh. This is stuff you see on TV, and you say, oh, that poor family. And all of a sudden, we're the poor family. You automatically think I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. And then you realize there are actually other moms crying with their face in their hands, praying for someone to be generous. First thing we said is, is she able to donate? In about two hours, she's going to be going back and doing an amazing thing. Two children um, from ages 0 to 10 and one adult. We asked if we could hold her. They were very accommodating. He held her. They had to do a few more tests, and then I got to hold her. I held her for four hours and just talked to her, and Nick gave me some privacy so I could sing to her. Oh, am I? Please believe me. I'll never do you no harm. We love you. Go play with your friends now. You have great things to do. The hardest thing ever was to put my arms down and just let them take her. They, they got a sound bite of her heartbeat and put it in a teddy bear. She's continuing with, with her heart and her liver and her kidneys going on. Those people are going to have children someday and be grandchildren to a part of Emma. And it, it's just, it's an amazing thought to know that she helped continue three lives so far. And it, it's a little bit comforting. It, it doesn't take away the pain, but it eases it a little. Travis Robinson reporting there. Emma Grace's funeral is going to be held this weekend, the same weekend she would have turned one. And to help pay for medical and funeral costs, the family has a GoFundMe page. We'll post that link on our app and website. They also want to remind people that if they see the green and yellow flag flying at a hospital, someone other than doctors are saving lives through organ donation.